against Roddy Piper Tuesday night. As far as I'm concerned, I never want to wrestle Roddy Piper again. Check it out, though. The Playboy still has his hair. And also, we are ready for any possible contenders that think they can put their bodies against these bodies and defeat us. Isn't that right, Rip? What connections this man has. What connections. After the Playboy defeated Rowdy Roddy Piper in the middle of the ring before thousands and thousands of screaming Portlanders, the Playboy and I flew off, took the big bird, and went to Las Vegas. Went to see Donna Summer, where we were enthroned with such royalty as Leon Speaks sat at our table, asked for Buddy's autograph, by the way, did some personal boogieing with Ike and Tina Turner. I never realized to my fondest dreams what a fantastic dancer Buddy was. I wanted to rename him Disco Buddy. That's right. That's another thing. If there's any dance contest going on in the Portland area, get a hold of Rick Rogers. The man can win any kind. I want to show you something else. Get a close-up of this body. His body can talk. I'm going to ask his chest a question. Mr. Chest, did you work out today? Mr. Bicep, did you work out today? And Mr. Abdominals, did you work out today? Check it out. He can do anything with this body. Not only that, we decided, look at the letters. Women been writing in to go out with us. Well, if you women would like to go out with us, we decided to have a contest. Just send a picture, write something nice to us, and in four weeks we'll announce the winners, and we'll take you out in the town, and we'll show you what it's like to go out with Rip Rogers and Playboy Buddy Rose. Girls, girls, first of all, please limit your letter to 50 words or less, and please make sure that you are somewhat at least a little bit desirable, because we don't like ugly girls. Good night, Dutch Savage.